Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. If you can't take the pain, you don't deserve the gain. So she with new. Before we get into the video, let's give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button, join the family, and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted every time we post a video. So she, what's next? What's bound to happen? What's to come? Let's just talk numbers. See what's next for she, guys. So anybody out there know that nobody knows exactly what's going to happen with she. But what we can do is prepare ourselves and come up with our you know from our knowledge and experience of the markets give our best opinion and our ability to share what we believe will happen next guys so let's go ahead and get into it in our previous videos we have forecast that when we was consolidating in the 50s we was about to have another drop to the mid 40s and that's exactly what happened we pulled down to 45 now we're recovering right back in the 50s went and test resistance around 59 we hit 58 but resistance is at 59 we need to break through 59 and then our next resistance would be 63 last after the break through 63 that will put us in a very bullish sentiment letting people know that this thing is ready to go right back to all-time highs guys and 77 and 79 will be the last resistance before getting to that all-time high so let's go ahead and talk about it let's talk about the stability of she of she how well has she been holding up what's the outlook when you zoom out and take a look at it so guys if we take a look at she i'm all about longevity and seeing how long an asset can sustain the levels that it's trading at so with sheep on the other hand as i look at the charts i'm noticing that sheep is holding up very very well as we call that dip the other day it pulled back and it bounced back immediately giving us that showing me indication that you know demand is there for any cheap tokens the demand is there to be eaten up also when we zoom out we notice that october the 21st when we was trading in the high 20s around we just want to say the end number to keep it simple guys when we was trading at around 28 29 the right before the big pop to going to the all-time highs and making those new highs every day and multiple highs in the same day i know you remember those times but right before that big pop we had resistance at 43 42 43 once we popped from the 20s we had uh we ran up to the 40 41 42 and then that was a resistance we cooled down a little bit we ran and tested at 42 again and that was the resistance then finally we blew through it and that's when we created that all-time high 89. But now, let me bring this to your attention. For the past 20 days, almost three weeks, and I want to give it another 14 days. I wanted to do it for a whole month. But I'm pretty sure the pop could possibly come before that. But just seeing the longevity of sheep holding up at previous resistance, that's exactly what we want to see. Previous resistance was 42, 43. If you notice, we done came down and tested the mid-40s multiple times, around 44, 45. That's hovering right around previous resistance at 42 and 43 so showing that you know we steady staircasing our way up and also holding up in this range for a long period of time you know not showing any weakness that we're about to drop you know drop like a rock and with the community behind she showing how strong it is as a whole that's just showing me great signs of continuation guys in my opinion but i always be smart and meticulous about each investment that you go into especially a speculative and risky investment like sheep guys i'm bullish on sheep i'm loaded on sheep but i just want people to know the the risk that's involved with sheep guys it's not like owning something like bitcoin or ethereum a blue chip crypto so know that it's very risky i always say i live by the same with the with the with the very very risky plays i say a little bit of money can turn to a lot of money because the potential for them to go up a thousand x a hundred x in a short period of time is way up there and the, the opportunity for you to turn a big amount of money to a small amount of money increases as well when you chasing the when you uh trying to go after investing in a speculative stock so my advice is you know put in what you can afford to lose guys if you want to add this to your portfolio and just let it ride guys and once it accumulate enough profits Pull out your initial investment and let the rest ride on house money, guys. So that's how I play it. That's how I always do it. So you already know, guys. If you like these type of updates, these videos, all that good stuff, consider joining the family. We post over here every single day. Get your free crypto down below, your free stock. Also, guys, just take a look at that beautiful background. I don't know if it's me or what, but that just look good. The sky, the trees right there. We out, though, y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. We out, and God bless you.